every cat knows the best spot is the highest peak of the shelf. In this video, I'll show you how this entire shelving system was made from start to finish. Using a jigsaw, the back shelves were cut to fit around a 4x4 post. Brackets were made using a compound miter saw. You can see the braces were cut 10 inches with a 45 degree cut. Sometimes I use cleats for hanging the brackets. A compound angle makes it look professional. The top of the bracket was made using a straight cut. These are 8 inches long. Inexpensive fencing board cut 10 inches long was cut next. Using some of my scrap wood, I made a small little perch which will allow for an access for climbing up as well as getting down from the top shelf. The perch was placed at a strategic height and attached to the 4x4 post. This beautiful cedar log which goes to the perch was attached right to the corner for stability. It's always a good idea to pre-drill your wood. This will prevent any splitting. I used a countersink bit so that the screws will fit flush into the top part of the bracket. Once the position of the brackets were determined, it was time to install the top of the bracket as well as the braces. Notice how easy the little cleat made installing the bracket, even at this, well, I'll say very wonky angle. With all components prepped and ready to go, it made installing the shelving brackets a snap. Literally it did. It's time to dry fit the shelves. You'll probably notice that it's deck board used here. I use a little red pen to mark my cuts. Now that the deck board is cut to size, I'll hang the shelves, two on each bracket. I'll just say a word about my preference in using star bit wood screws. These are two inch. If you make a mistake, it's easy to back them right on out and try again. Now it's time to explain why I made these little 10 inch, very inexpensive fence boards. They will be placed underneath the shelf so that it won't twist or bend over time. And this project was concluded by adding a little brown wood stain so that it would blend in with the landscape. I suppose it's time to see what the cats think about all of this. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments section if this information was helpful. Meow for now.